What's up, you two? Well, looks like Verizon's at it again. They're always after us unlimited data users. Uh, here recently, they uh, shut down Foxfire, which is a very popular app amongst us unlimited data users. Uh, it's an app where we can use our phone as wireless hotspot against Verizon's 4G high-speed unlimited data, and we won't need no uh, reason for internet service or anything like that. Works perfect. Uh, in case you didn't know, after November 15th, Verizon has upped the unlimited data plan from $29.99 to $49.99. So if you have a line that's unlimited data on your account, then your bill is about to go up. Uh, if, you, if you didn't know, now you know. So what I've done here, this is on, I'm sorry about this, but this is only on the Galaxy S3 right now by Verizon. I figured out a way to get by Verizon's block for Foxfire. <coughs> yes, it's real. I'm going to show you. This is a Galaxy S3. Now, before I get started, I'm going to tell you, don't back out when I say this. Yes, you're going to have to root the phone, but it is lightning fast. You don't need a PC. You don't need no wires. You just need your phone. Have it charged. That's it. I'm going to show you how to do it very quickly. First, I'm going to show you right quick. I'm going to try to make this quick because I know nobody wants to be bored. This is a uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 by Verizon. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Now, the first thing I'm going to do first, we're going to go to settings. And I'm going to show you. Go to settings. I'm going to go to the bottom where it says about phone. One up from the bottom. See, Android version 4.4.2. I'm sorry, this thing will not zoom. I don't know what's wrong with it. But uh, that's it. 4.4.2 Android version. It's the HI535. Alright. Now, the first thing we do, follow me. Go to settings. We're going to go to security. You scroll down here where it says security. Click on it. Right there where it says unknown sources, allow installation of apps from sources other than the Play Store. Make sure that's checked. When you check, if it's not checked and you check it, it's going to say okay. Are you sure? Blah, blah, blah. Say okay. Make sure that's checked. All right. Now let's get started. We're going to root the phone. Watch how quick this is. Go to Google. Type in Tailroot. T-O-W-E-L-R-O-O-T. Go. All right. I'm sorry if it's blurry. I just, my, this thing will not uh, adjust or focus. All right, Tower Root by GeoHot. Click on it. Brings you here. See that symbol in the middle? Click on it. It's going to say here, uh, this type of file can harm a device. Do you want to keep it anyway? Blah, blah. Yes. Hit OK. See, I already downloaded it, but it says replace file. Let's go ahead and replace it as I'm doing as new. See, downloading at the top. It's already done. Click on it. See, do you want to install? Yes, hit install. Boom. All right. It says uh, allow Google to regularly check device activity for security deposits. I always hit decline. That's just me. You probably could do what you want to. But all right, install app install. Open it. All right, right here. I'm sorry, I don't say it. But it says make it rain inside that block. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh -huh. Okay, just hit make it rain. Now, it says, thank you for using Tower Root. You should have root. No reboot required. Just that quick, I just rooted the Samsung Galaxy S3. Just that quick. Just that easy. Let's go home. All right, now, I'm going to set the link into the description. What we're going to do next, you hit here. I'm going to go ahead and go. I got it bookmarked, so we'll go ahead and go. This is a website called High on Android. It's got two links in here we need. This is going to be quick, very small, very small little files. All right. We're going to scroll down to those two green ones there. It says Download Exposed Installer APK, Download Exposed X Tether APK. Click on the top one. We do this one by one. Very simple, very easy. I try to make them easy for you. Scroll down where it says download. See the link? Click on it. It says uh, this file can harm a device. Do you want to keep it? Same as last. Hit OK. I'm going to replace the file because I already have it. Downloading. 
see up top scroll down it's already done but don't touch it don't bother scroll back up all right see all right we're gonna go back go back to the second link see here now let's get the second one same thing scroll down to where it says download right here download it okay yes 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 all right downloading now that's done now scroll down from the top if i may see the two files you downloaded click on the top one it says uh moto tether do you want to install install all right same little google thing i hit decline installing all right it's installed hit done all right now scroll back to the top again see at the bottom your second download click on that expose install same thing hit install all right decline blah blah all right done it's installed open all right, now when you first open this up on your phone where it says framework, you might have some red writing underneath the black writing. That's fine. If not, if it looks like this, that's fine. But at the top, follow me. Hit framework. We're almost done. Framework. Okay, it says uh, in some cases your device might no longer boot after installing exposure. This is scaring you. Hit okay. At the top is install update. Hit install. All right, and it says at the bottom, done. Change will become active on reboot. Do you want to reboot? Do not reboot. Okay? Hit cancel. Cancel. All right? We're back here. You see at the top where it says framework? Click on framework. See where it says modules? Click on modules. Match this where it says moto tether. Yours is not going to be checked. So click it. Check on it. Okay? Now when you check on it, hit okay. It's going to be checked. It's going to look like that when you get done. Hit the back button. Go back to where we were. Here. It says framework. Click on framework again. Hit OK in some cases. See at the bottom where it says soft reboot or reboot. Just hit reboot. Reboot. Are you sure? OK. Now I'm going to set it down. I'm going to let it reboot. Just remember this works on the Galaxy S3 for now. Uh hadn't had a chance to use on nothing else been working on this hard i'm a gamer so you know i got to have that unlimited high speed data it's been two days without gaming so it's killing me had to do something we're gonna let them boot back up and now if your phone is rooted i mean you can do other stuff with it you can put third party apps on it i just rooted the phone just to get the uh the fox fly to work i mean i really don't care about that other stuff i didn't even i mean i i, I don't even bother with it see if we're gonna go on my little open up here all right here we go all right 4g back cut on everything's fine now we'll scroll over to fox fly there it goes see the network maybe monitored you guys know if you use fox fly you've seen that a million times all right there's fox fly click on it all right full version unlocked Matter of fact, when I get through with this video, I might make another and show you how to get Foxfire and unlock it without having to pay for it on the Google Store. Since they want to be little bees and not fix this stuff. Alright. Full version unlocked. Here we go. On the Galaxy S3, you have to hit this. Okay. You trust this application. Y'all seen that. Alright, go to settings. Now, here's where everybody runs into the problem. You only got 30 seconds to do this. You go to settings, then when you move this uh, tab over, it always stops you or say you, you, you have to call to subscribe. Watch this. Slide it over. There it is. It says iPhone in use because I've named it iPhone in the Fox file and I'll show you. Which you probably just seen it while ago. So you just heard something connect. Probably my Xbox One in there. Alright, we'll go home. We'll click on Fox file. Yep, say I named it. I named it iPhone. CDOS and motorcycle. Or, my, or password. But there it is, it's on. It's working. It's ready to go right now. Right now. And you can see the little one in the white beside the 4G. Well, it's hard to see because this bad boy won't zoom. But I have a, there's one connected to it now. But 
it's working that's how you make fox 5 work it's ready to go so this is working on the galaxy s3 guaranteed working i promise you it works follow what i just did and your phone will work you see nothing's changed i hadn't lost anything everything's still here you know basically I mean, i'll reset the phone and start it over to do this but uh check it out share it i promise you this is it people this is how you make fox 5 work again on a verizon samsung galaxy s3 unlimited data users get on it